Cicada from Discraft. This is a seven, six, minus one, one. What's up locals? Well, you clicked on the video, you know what's coming. Today we look at the first run Cicada from Discraft. This is a seven, six, minus one, one. I think, you know, after the river came out, uh, you know, other companies had to try to figure out how to create a disc comparable to the river. And I think it's safe to say this is Discraft's river. First run, um, this is in Z plastic. Uh, it feels kind of like that, you know, to speak to it, kind of that champion plastic. Um, pretty firm. It's cool today, but I, it's not that cool. I would say it's, you know, we're probably about five degrees here today, five degrees Celsius that is, which again, I'm only guessing is 30, what is that, like 36 maybe? Anyway, it's a beautiful day here. We do have snow on the ground, so this is gonna be easy to find with this nice bright color to it. Um, in terms of the profile on it, you know, kind of a, you know, a little bit of what looks like the start of a dome in the shoulder, but then it really flattens out up top and um, sort of you know, that mid parting line on the side. One thing I've got to say, as I always try to do, we are 1,045 meters above sea level, which means this disc is gonna fly more stable in this environment than for you if you are close to sea level. You know, when I first got my river, people talked about like how flippy it was. And even with my mantra, same thing, all oh, these discs are so flippy. And then I got it and I would throw it and I, I don't have a big arm by any stretch, but I found both of those discs were flying a bit more stable than kind of like I was pitched on. And then I went and played closer to sea level and learned a whole lot very quickly about how flippy those discs actually are if you're close to sea level. So take that into consideration. Um, anyway, I've talked enough. Let's throw this thing. Slight, slight breeze coming at me here. I'm gonna try to release this fairly flat on the first throw and just see what we can do here. And that is pretty straight. Little fade at the end. Again, I'm sure you can see it, but we are in some snow here today. It's fairly grippy. It's not so cold that it's like icy out here, but we don't have the best footing this time of year. So, you know, keep that in mind as well. That disc, probably if I'm on grass, I'm probably getting like a slight turn out of that disc, which is that minus one, one. I feel like that's pretty true to form. That Those flight numbers feel real to me. They feel pretty accurate. Um, in terms of the glide, again, hard to say when you don't have like really good grip, you know, that, that can be a bit of a, it can, it can challenge what you're able to do with that disc. All right, Cicada, round two. Yeah, I mean, so flat, very similar flight to the first one. Um, just really flat out, like dependable fade. I'd love to throw that thing like nice on a nice hot day when that plastic's a little bit more gummy and I got some better grip under my feet. Let's go get that disc and throw it again. Okay, one more throw, really liked it so far. I'm gonna try and get this out on a little ante this time and see if it will hold that line or kind of fight out. Here we go. Yeah, so held the line. Little fight, I mean, I think that's exactly what a, you know, seven, six, minus one, one is gonna do there. Held that nice turn and then still gave me a little bit of dependable fade. Yeah, I mean, by all accounts, that Cicada's, uh, it's a fun disc for sure. I'm not typically a fan of like, like a champion plastic or in this case, like a Z plastic, which is more overstable traditionally. In colder weather, believe it or not, that plastic connects with me more. I know a lot of people like like a gummier plastic. You know, people like lend, um, lean towards like a G-Star plastic, for example. I'm not really sure what that is. I know e ESP is kind of like the star plastic. Oh, it's, um, is it Jawbreaker, I think? You can leave a comment down be below. Teach me about uh, Discraft. I'm not, a, I don't throw a ton of Discraft myself, so. But anyway, I, I really actually like that um, plastic in these conditions. Uh, I wanna say a huge thank you to JK Discs here in Alberta for getting that cicada into our hands. Um, I was definitely interested. I love a straight flyer and uh, that one's kind of magic. I really like it. Okay, Cicada, one more time on an Annie. Let's see if we can turn this thing over because truthfully, while I stand here on this tee pad, this does have like a natural dog leg to the right. So I want to see if I can get a little bit more distance out of this disc. Here we go. Mm, only the slightest bit of Annie and that fought out. Okay, I wanted to bring out another disc today. Um, shout out to my friend Herman for uh, getting this disc to me. It's a 7.5-1-1. One, one. 
my lighting is terrible right now. I'm in the wrong spot, but I want to be able to see this drive come out. So uh, this is the Hawkeye from Innova 75 minus 11 and thought I'd see how this flies in comparison to that uh, Cicada. Here we go. That one I got a little bit more anti on and I got a little bit more distance on that turn uh, in that situation. Again, playing in wintertime, so crucial, um, you know, to have the right equipment and to be taking the right precautions. You know, when you've got an icy tee pad, I'm sure most of you, especially if you're in the south going, what is this guy doing right now? You can figure out and understand that, you know, we're, we're taking some risks when we're playing in the snow here. Uh, it's still a lot of fun, especially on a beautiful day like today when the sun is out, snow is pretty packed down and it's not too icy out here, um, but you know, it can affect um, the, like, you know, the trust you put both in your feet, in your hips, you know, in that, um, in your X step, you know, everything, the whole process. So obviously when I don't have as strong a footing, you know, I've got to probably rely a little bit more on my upper body, um, which kind of affects the fact that I can't totally get, you know, the exact same release out. But regardless, uh, you know, Hawkeye and Cicada, pretty similar, I would say overall. Maybe that Hawkeye is like a little bit like understable to that Cicada, that Cicada is in Z plastic. And uh, again, with that six glide, you know, maybe it's got a little bit more carry to it. Yeah, a little turn and a little fade. So um, again, I feel like that's a pretty similar flight. Probably just kind of comes down to either like brand or plastic. I love me some star plastic typically. And again, I'm kind of dancing a little bit on a slightly slick tee pad here. So I, I wasn't able to dig into that as much as I would have liked, but um, overall, uh, I think they've kind of got a similar flight to them. Uh, maybe that Cicada, it says it's a seven, six minus one, one. And I would say off of those throws, I'm getting a little bit more glide out of the Cicada. So um, anyway, having said that, uh, again, a huge thank you to JK Discs here in Alberta for getting that disc to us for this review. Uh, check out JK Discs. I'll leave a link down in the description to check them out. And as always, my name is Ryan. This is Local. We are Local.